Hello and welcome to a brand new series. It is Northgard Ragnarok. I want to thank Shiro Games for supplying a key for us to take a look at this game. I've had this on my radar for quite a while, actually, since it was released back in March. It is currently on sale uh, in the Steam Winter Sale. I don't know whether it's available on other storefronts, but I do know about Steam. It's about 15, well, it is 15 US dollars, about 12, a little under 12 quid in the UK and 14 euros. What is it? It's an RTS, kind of. A Viking based RTS, uh, themed RTS, I should say. Uh, we're going to play the campaign and uh, we're starting here. Chapter one, Exodus. Here we go. We have we have safely escaped to a remote region. We must now reach the shores of Northgard. Bonus, oh, bonus objectives. We like to do those, or I do. They will be revealed once you complete the chapter for the first time. Okay, do we have to play through this twice? Probably. You can see we've got the difficulty on norm difficulty on normal. Uh, there is hard and extreme. Normal seems to be equivalent to easy. I'm going to stick to normal because I've never played it before. At, not even in the slightest. Uh, what we got here. So we are Brand. Is that our hero? If it's our hero, that's that's leaning a little bit towards Warcraft 3. Clan of the Stag. So we start with 75 plus food, uh, wood and crones. Forgive me if I pronounce that incorrectly. Do you know, I've got a feeling, given this is Vikings, I might pronounce a lot of things wrong. The Hall of Scolds, Scolds, <laughs> replaces the brewery and produces additional fame. Fame bonuses? Oh, I like all that. I'll let you read that at your own leisure. Proud and noble at heart, the banner man of the Stag Clan is a loyal man who lives and fights with honour. Nothing matters more to him than his people's well-being. He is faithful to you, as his father was to yours, and is willing to help you exact your revenge. Revenge and conquer Northgard. Hopefully there's not too much reading, because I'm I can't get my teeth in today. Let's start the game, shall we? I had no strength left when I encountered a group of runaways of the Stag clan, led by a proud young man named Bram. Hagen's men had set his town aflame, and he had nothing left, not even his father, the clan's Jarl, who had died at the hands of the fiend, just like mine. Our common enemy had sailed for Northgard, over which he now had a map. All I could think about was finding him to avenge my father and retrieve the regal horn. Looks like we're in. Brand. I, I, I'm, yeah, we're going to say brand. That's what I read it as. Glad to see you back on your feet. My lord. <laughs> Brilliant reading. Excellent. Good start. This is going to go well, isn't it? I'm surprised at how fast you recovered. Rig? Who's Rig? I suppose Rage is an excellent healer. Still, we've wasted enough time already. We must go after Hagen as soon as possible. I just thought ice cream. Indeed, time is of the essence. Our camp is far from the enemy. But we are marooned in an unknown province on the outskirts of your kingdom. I shall prove myself worthy of their trust. However impatient I am to get even with that scum, my priority is to ensure their survival. There we go. Very good. Your restraint does you honour. Besides, none of us will be getting revenge if we starve to death first. No, we won't. Speaking of which... There will be no shortage of uh, mouths to feed, so let us seek out food. Wood is also a vital resource, being used for both heating and construct heating. Right. We must also leave the continent and set sail for Northgard. We shall need a proper shore to go out to sea. Alrighty. Reach the shore to the north. That is our objectives. You are correct. Quite right, I suggest you instruct villagers to build a scout camp and train as scouts so they may explore the region. Alrighty, so we're getting in. What we got here, getting started. You are in a safe, remote area. I'm thinking this is kind of like uh, the tutorial, so that's good because I have no idea what we're doing. 
Your goal here is to meet the basic survival needs of your clan, food, wood and houses. Be sure to train scouts so that they can explore the region and then expand your ter territory by colonizing nearby areas. Find a shore to embark in search of undiscovered lands. Reach the shore. So what do we do? Uh, what's this say? Year one, March. Make sure to stock up on food for the coming winter. So it has winter. Winter. Is, uh, so in winter, your military units get minus 30 attack power when fighting outside of your territory. Now, here's the thing about me. Should we... Let's zoom in and have a look at our little... Gut. Look. So they're foraging. Uh, it looks like apples, perhaps. So the town hall spawns new villagers and they uh, look to be automatically spawned which reminds me straight away of stronghold series uh having a hero like this reminds me of warcraft 3 right what do we do now then what do we do we build it's got to be building house provide shelter for more clan members uh scout camp Radio. We probably don't need to expand our... Oh, there we go. Wood is in an, an important resource, so we could possibly go for that. Although they are foraging from trees, which makes me a little worried. Uh, maybe we should cut down these. Did I just get rid of a tree? That's a bit loud, isn't it? I don't know whether that's... Too oh, look, they're building. You cannot rotate the camera as far as I know, but we are zoomed in. So they're building their little woodcutters. Be careful about cutting down trees, I guess. Could you not use the, your brand to scout? Can we go across here? Nope, can't go across there. Go that way. Maybe I should leave him on the edge. There we go. We have got our woodcutters lodge is complete. Yeah, I don't want to sign him. Right, so can I take you and put you in there? There we go. That reminds me of another game. Uh, where you put people in woodcutters' hurts. It's called. You know, it'll come to me shortly. So we now have two woodcutters. Yeah, two of two. Train your villagers to become woodcutters who can harvest wood in this area. So... Training, does that involve just placing them in the lodge? We can upgrade. Woodcutter and all woodcutters in this area gain 20% wood production bonus. Here's a question. It's unlocked new things. Healers hut. Train your villagers to become healers who will heal your wounded or sick clan members in your ter- I like healers. But is that necessary straight away? Train your villagers to become scolds who will increase your clan's fame and happiness. Clan can't grow because it needs more houses. Right. Training camp? I mean, I my game style... This might cause a few people to, to switch off, but uh, my, my, my play style is very defensive in these games and I like to watch the little people do stuff. I know, I know. Some people like to, uh, to rush... And I'm sure that's a viable tactic in this game. But, uh, oh, we can't go past there. So you, ah, that answered that question. I was expecting this guy to be able to uh, go and explore for us. But he can't. So what should we... I mean, we've got wood coming in now, plus eight. We've got money, and we've got food coming in. Plenty of food. We, should, we could build a house. But do we really need to? Yeah, let's do it. Let's build a house. We'll put it up here and hopefully not wreck <laughs> wreck the trees. There we go. That should allow us to expand. Uh, so this is our overview. We have woodcutters, villagers. Kind of settlers-ish, but it le leans more to Age of Empires. That That's what I'm feeling, where you assign people to huts. And in fact, yeah, Warcraft 3. My, my memory serves me correctly. Now what do we do? I guess it did... What was that? That scared me. We should prepare for winter. Okay, we've got lots of food. 
Oh, we're full on food. Your food reserves are maxed out. We need to build more silos. Can't build silos yet, which... Oh, requires an area with a natural food source. So let's build us a scout camp. Uh, towards this border, I would say. Go over there. People are cutting down all of the trees by the looks of things. Not sure I'm happy about that. Could you not cut down these? Do these have an area of influence? That's a destroy. Don't touch that. There we go. You. Could you be uh, one of those? And you, could you also be one of those? Oh, and they go off automatically. Or can you tell them where to go? I don't know. If, you, if I tell you to go over... Yeah, okay. Oh, but they won't go past the fog of war, which is what this is. You know, I'm loving it so far. What we got over here? Some rocks, some uh, flowers. What's this stuff? Uh, fertile land. You can build fields here. Do you know, I was going to edit out the plane in the background because it's not really fitting, is it? I mean, we're in Viking times. I don't think they had planes then, but uh, hopefully it won't be too loud. Right, why can't I build a farm? Requires fertile... Because we haven't captured it. How do we expand our territory? How do we uh, increase your warband size? It's not that. Provides shelter for more clan members. How do we, uh, how do we claim this area? Do we walk over there now? And claim it? Nope, we don't do that. I'll figure it out. Let's have a look at our, uh, our buildings. Provide shelter. Warband. Oh, what is that? My lord! Reconnaissance of this area, of the area, has revealed an abandoned cottage. Who's my lord? Is it him? Are we him? Are we Rig? I don't know who we are. Perhaps we should order our scout to search it. They might be able to salvage some resources. I would like resources. Never say no to resources. Agreed. We will have to... Oh, or we would brand and we're talking to, to my lord. No more wood, me lord. Yeah, I had to think about that. Agreed. Okay. Yep, yeah, we agreed. Explore the ruins. Okay, now it might tell us about the colonizing an area. We'll get in there. It shouldn't be this slow. I can see the resources on the map. And the treasure chest is this. And that would be... Oh, look, they just keep going. I'm a little bit worried because uh, if we bump into the... Oh. Yep, it's winter, winter, winter. We should expect food to be scarcer, scarcer, scarcer. And our people will consume more firewood to heat their homes. All right. Our military troops will also be weakened by the cold. It might not be the best time to fight. Never is. We're going to turtle up and build loads of towers if we can. So we need to colonize. And how do we do that? Is it a house? Can't build a house over there. How do we colonize an area? It didn't tell us. Uh, a feast gives plus two and plus 20 bonus to all production and happiness for one month as well as plus 20 of whatever those are. Do we need fame? I'm a little unsure. Oh, colonize for 20 apples. There we go. I should have read that, shouldn't I? Right, we're colonizing. We know how to expand. Oh, I love it. It's so cute, this game. I say cute as he's got a big sword. Because I would love to uh, build a field there. Can we now? Yeah, look at that. Just as it... Uh, get that in. We've got enough wood and stuff. Plenty of wood. Uh, early on, you or at the beginning of the video, you may have noticed I chose normal, which is the easiest setting. There is a reason, and that's mainly because I want to, you know, get into the game, show you as much as possible. And hard modes generally mean it just slows down the gameplay. I already want to take my time, so... 
I don't want to make it unnecessarily hard for us. What are we waiting on here? Bring your villagers over. What are you? You're just a villager. Ready to work. Get over there, sir. Build away. There we go. Happiness is three. Uh, happiness will attract new villagers. This is a very stronghold, but with a Viking theme. At first, I was leaning towards settlers, but it's not. Well, mm, kind of is. It's there, isn't it? There's a hint of it. I'm just going to say, looking at the rest of my channel, you wouldn't think this would be coming. But this is a close second. RTS, colonies, resource management, base building, uh, eco especially economy-based ones. I love that. I love building like my little, my little farms and stuff. Oh, there we go. Are you in? Are you going to go in? Where are you going? Where are you off to, sir? Ready for work. Did you go in here? There we go. How many can we have? One or two. How do we know how many free workers we have? Scout, farmer, woodcutter, villager. So if we just click on a random villager, we can add them. Yes. Love it. Very easy to use. I like it. So we don't want to expand too fast, do we? Uh, we've got plenty of wood, though. I would say another woodcutter down here would be nice. Uh, we're probably going to have to think about houses soon as well. Our population is maxed. Uh, but we've got plenty of free villagers. Okay. My lord, one scout, claims to have found a suitable coast for the construction of a port. righty -o. Excellent. We should colonize the area leading up to this shore so that our builders can reach it and get to work. Love it. We're in year two. We have found the shore. I'm, this is... Oh, what's that? Yeah, I know. No! Who are you? No woofs. Saw a woof. Wolf. <laughs> little wolf. Oh, look. Um, I'm a little concerned about the safety of our, our scouts, but they've gone off. Where have they gone off to? They're just off. Uh, scout, scout. There they are. Guys. What's the wolves? Congratulations, your clan made it to a new year. That doesn't, that doesn't bode well, does it? Making it to a new year. It seems like that is a challenge. It might be with me at the helm, let's face it. Okay. I'm happy with how things are going. We might not need just spare villagers cutting down trees and stuff soon. Because you would like them to specialise in uh, woodcutting. We've only got one farm. What does upgrading the farm do? How do we cancel? Right mouse button? No. Nope. Left mouse button on an empty area. Brilliant. What happens if we upgrade? Upgrade the town hall. Is this our town hall? Allows you to upgrade other buildings. Increases maximum population by 2. And population growth by 20%. Is that stone? We don't have a stone cutters, do we? Food silo. That might be helpful for the winter, right? Where looks a good place for that? Uh, over here? That kind of looks cool, right? I would like it that side, if possible. Apparently you can rotate. I'll get the hang of this. It won't be this awkward all the time. I do promise you that. Healer's Hut might need that to fight the wolves. F. There you go. Look, it can dance. F rotates. Brilliant. That looks a good place. Let's get a uh, spare worker. Send you over to there, please. Are you off? I can't remember. Or did I have to right click? We might have to right click. Do that. There we go. That's it. Right click. Let's take you over there. I mean, I'm a little worried about the wolves, but they're not really... Oh, look at the stags. Look at them all. Is that food? And a wolf, though, look. Don't want that. 
Uh, can we... Yeah, I know we need more houses. What is the requirements to get another land? I might have missed that. What is this? Wounded. Clan members have 20%. Oh, because we're out of our clan member without a job. Oh, that guy. Our scouts don't have a job anymore, so what can we do with them? Can we dismiss them? No. How do we dismiss our scouts? Alright, we'll figure that out. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know what you're doing over there. We can't... Oh, there. Okay. I would like you to no longer be a scout, but... Uh, I'm not sure anymore. I don't want to delete them. Can we just assign them to something else? Or once they're a scout, they're always a scout. They can also explore ruins and shipwrecks. Well, we'll, we'll keep them for now. Okay, how are we doing on food? Lovely jubbly. Uh, we'll need stone. But I don't think that's on this map. I bet it's not. What else could we build then? Should we build a healer? Or more houses? More houses, and let's have them nice and safe back here. Because I thought it was the houses, or houses, that were, uh, would mean we could populate. I don't know whether having a house in here gives us the ability to populate more. Oh, there we go. Now we can colonize. What changed? Answers on a postcard, please. If you've got any tips for me on how best to start, how to deal with things, do we need soldiers, say, straight away? Or can I uh, bundle up, bumble along like I am doing? All right, we'll colonize this for 40 food. It looks like it's getting slight more expensive the further you go in. Okay, we're building. Excellent. Scout required. Ah, look, we al I almost got rid of them. Hey, you. Oh, one of these scouts. What's up with him? Or was he attacked? Was that his health? Okay, run really fast. Can we go and attack that wolf? Do it. Go on. Let's go and attack a wolf. Get him. Because he's our hero, right? Yeah, good. No, not more wolves. No more wolves. Uh, do we have any special... Oh, I'm a little bit worried here. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Yes. That's what I said. <laughs> right, he's scouting now. Brilliant. Is he nearly... Is he about to bite the dust? Yeah, he, he's not looking... Let's get a healer. Build a healer. Healer's hut. Just over here. We'll go. Actually, let's put it down here near our food. I don't think it really matters. Oh, off she goes. What else can we build? Military. I Advance. We could have advanced stuff. I think a training camp. I'd like some help. We're going to need a lot more houses though, aren't we? Hunter's Lodge. Oh, that's for the... Where? Where, where, where? No, no, no. Don't be dying. Don't be dying. I'm a little worried. Uh, you, lady. I would love you to be a healer, please. Is she a healer? Oh, is that a staff? You got a stave, lady. Oh, you're beautiful if you have. Do you know what? Could we have a... Uh, this reminds me of MMOs where you build a team and it's all healers with one tank. <laughs> the most annoying builds to face in PvP. Right, go on then. You two can just heal each other or him. Him being us. Whatever his name is. Brad. Bard. What's your name? Brand. Ooh, riches. Go and heal him, please. I hope this is how this works. Can you heal him? Can you heal him? How? 
You're not healing. Or does he just... How are you not healing? Why are they not healing him? Healers. Healers gather medicine, medical herbs that your wounded will use to heal themselves. The wound must be within the, your territory. The wounded must be in your territory, not the wound. I don't know how. So where do we pick that stuff? Don't go and get killed. Do not go and get killed, please. So where are the herbs? Have we found those yet? There's another hut up there. Where, where's the herbs? I want herbs, please. Could you not get some herbs? Can we make them stand still? That would be lovely. What's this? Buildings with no workers. What is that? Healer's hut? Can you go over there? Both of you. Come over here. Stop walking around near wolves. Train your villagers to become healers who will heal your wounded or sick clan members in your territory. Okay. Let's select him. Wait, are they just naturally healing them? Oh. Healing scout. Healing sc Oh, I see. Why is it saying then? Oh, gotcha. All right, I got that wrong. So I'm guessing they need to be within the vicinity of this, not send them up. I thought they were like actual healers. He's being healed, you see. He's got a little plus. That guy there, our little scout, has a plus. He must have natural regen as a, as a hero type character. We have a lot of people. Can we build then... Let's build a training camp. I would like that. Where can we build it? Oh, you can only have so many buildings per area. That is interesting. Well, let's have it up by the wolves, shall we? Kind of like that idea. Does that mean we are full on buildings here? How many buildings can you have in this area? Uh, where does it tell you? Where's a quick overview? Five of five. This must allow you to have five buildings. All right. Gotcha. So we can only have three up here. I don't mind that. That's interesting. That's a bit strategic. You can't just go uh, placing as many down as you want. So what can we do with this now? Damage house. Colonize. And use your scouts to explore this. Has already been visited. Can we uh, just build on top of that? Oh, we're going to need a person, aren't we? Just wandering around. Uh -huh. Right, get a person. Could you go and build? Over there, please. Because I would like an army. Mm -hmm. Let's bring you over there as well. And possibly you. Anybody else ready to uh -huh. work? Yep, you. Get over here. I don't know how many... How many military units we can have, but we'll we'll figure it out. All right, can you help her build? No, no. Just the one. He has fully healed, so he's got natural healing. Yeah, I know we're going to need more houses, but once that's finished, we might be all right. Don't want to attack that. We can't attack that, which is interesting. Until you claim it. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we'd have to claim that area and it'll get get rid of the wolves. So if we stand in here and get attacked immediately, that's amazing. Right. So who we got available around here? Anybody? You're a villager. Get in there. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. We're healing. Nice. Oh, can you uh, go and be one of these? Congratulations, your clan has made it to a new year. Our hero almost didn't. Oh, look, now we've got Viking dudes. Look at them. Yes. Okay, that's better. Who are you? Scout. 
Uh, how many can you have? Rally and disabled. When activated, newly trained warriors will automatically rally to you. We want that. Alright, let's go and see how this goes now. Come on, let's go get him. Don't kill my dudes. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, we, we got this. I love it. I still don't know the requirements. Uh, bonus. I still don't know how we actually activate claiming a new land or a new area. Do we have to be in further? It's not really saying, is it? I will look that up for us because I'm a bit, a bit terrible. All right, let's go back here because I don't know what we're doing just yet. How do we claim this? Do we need to claim something else first? Like over here, perhaps. The wolves. Wolves are going to get us. Come on, attack them. Yes, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, we got that. Brilliant. Do we need a scout here to claim it? Let's, let's check, shall we? I don't know. Oh, no, there we go. Well, I'd prefer to be over here. I, I probably had all of them selected. Get him. Got him. The scout colonizes. Right. Go over here, then. I thought it was this guy. Oh, no, he does. Brilliant. Let's get it. That should get rid of this. Will it? Will, will you get rid of the uh, wolf's den? Aha! Close the door. Oh, and we got uh, 30 prunes, crowns, thrones. And now we're safe of wolves. There are no wolves out here now. That is beautiful. We need to colonize this before we can uh, get it. So what should we have out here now? Uh, let's see what we got in our buildings. We don't have any fertile soil in here. Really need... We could build houses out here, right? I mean, we don't really need to. Might as well. You know what? Just build a house out there. We'll find someone spare. Go build over there. There we go. I mean, eventually, we'll, we'll be able to do what we want here. Develop area. Increase the number of... Okay. Increases the number of possible buildings in this area only once. I like it. That's kind of cool. What can we do here? Develop area. Increase the number of possible buildings in this area only once. I see. I like it. I'm not sure what... What does that for us? Whether it's because we have more more areas that we actually have colonized or whether something else doing that. This would be a good place for a forest. A woodcutter, wouldn't it? So am I right in thinking our scouts come here and go over here and colonize? I might just be missing where it says we can colonize uh, will attract new villagers to your town hall. Improves people's happiness to accelerate. Imp Where? Who? Who? Oh, it's just a, it's a stray wolf. Look, they're up there. Come on. You guys can do this. Get him. Get the wolf. Is there another wolf's den somewhere? Quite possibly. Could you go over that way? And go and scout. That would be great. This must be the edge of the map then. Can you reach there and scout? No? Come on, you can see that. <laughs> I mean, we're almost at this. We could uh, complete this in one shot. Or can we? Not knowing how we do it. Okay, maybe we can colonize this and build a port. There we go. We've got plenty of food. I mean, this takes us right there. 
Not 100% sure on what we're doing. What's this place here? Unstable ground makes it harder to build in this area. Gotcha. But what we can do... Build a port. Is that right? What, what is it? There we go. There we go. Bam. As good as a, a worker. Could you go over that way, please? Thank you. I like. Get building. And since we can only have one builder... Uh, sailor's loot, thrones and law or fame while raiding at a lighthouse to exploit great trade routes. I like the sound of this. We might as well finish. Uh, this should be it then, right? That should be the end of this. This first act, the kind of tutorial. Maybe it'll tell us more in the future. I could just read up. Organize a feast. Do you know what? Let's have a feast. That's lovely. There you go. Everybody's happy. We've had a feast. We've got... Yeah, we've got, like, uh, modifiers on everything now. So, current happiness. Is that it? Did we do it? Oh, yeah. Cinematic. At last. Thanks. Okay. What did you say? Anchors... Away, proud Vikings. We sail for Northgard. And then the, the I guess the, the journey begins for real. Your end draws near, Hagen. Oh no, there's a wolf. Look, see him? Victory, it doesn't matter. We didn't even explore that. I don't remember seeing a wolf. Victory! Chapter one, we got an achievement. Exodus. Oh, and see, we're off now. Chapter two, foothold. Which will do. In another video if you like that and we can always come back drop a comment below if you want to see more of this uh, and don't forget if uh, you do want to grab it and you like the look of it so your sort of thing a uh, bit of rts with a hero i certainly do like it i i wouldn't mind playing more of this for you guys uh, maybe you can play along at home if you do uh, i'll bring it back anyway i do want to get a, a quite a few titles on my channel, we're only young. We're not even a year old yet. We're still baby. Uh, but I want to get uh, lots of games that I enjoy playing up there. So you get a rough idea of the sort of games I like. This being one of them so far. Really enjoyed that. A bit of faffing around involved, as always, with a new game. But that I don't think that's really anything to do with the game itself. Only my ability to learn games quickly. So that has been Northgard Ragnarok. There is a, a, a bunch of reasonably priced DLC available if you we get to the end of this. But looking at the base game, there is an awful lot to do first. Little Vikings, they were so cool. All right then, guys. Until next time, take care.